Hi, my name is Mike. And I'm David, and we are here with the ADA 60P tank. Today, first the wish came true. I escaped together with David, so it's pretty cool. We got inspired by a tank of the ADA gallery we showed a couple years ago, and um, yeah, we will use the same fish. And we use the aqua gravel, not sand, so this will be different to all our gallery tanks. Let's start the escaping process. Here are the stones. Okay, now it's the first one. This for was you. the main stone, or yeah. this one? Uh, but I think the other side around. Like this? Ah, this one was the main stone. No? Mm. <laughs> okay. This is the main stone. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Check it, it looks great. Oh, you! <laughs> <laughs> so, can you hold it for two, three hours? Stone expert just arrived from outside, you can see, and he's not wasting any time to just mess up our tank. I'm not taking any critics because I'm just a holder. The main stone doesn't have a flat surface on the, on the bottom, so we need to get it stabilized. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> Usually we tell that we want no space left open here in the top. But for now we don't need it, so we don't need a bigger stone because the top part will be covered by plants. We, we use a lot of stem plants in the back. kind of a valley here, so it's perfect. This was the original plan. That's, that's the original, that's, yeah. that's our, like what they said, okay, that's cool. We don't have to do it that way. I just show you, it will work. It can work, If yeah. we don't bring it up like this. Besides the main stone, the plants are in the focus. Here, this part is an important part for yeah, the, the structure little... because it leads kind of to the focal point in the back and we need a good structure here. So we need to figure it out how it looks good. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> like I just said in the beginning, a uh, wish came through. Today, first, the wish came through. I escaped together with David. The wish came through. Is it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's stuck. Is it okay if we put it in like this? Yeah. <laughs> this was the <laughs> original plan. Something like this, or it's too much? I don't know. Yeah. It follows the shape yeah. and some... It's cool. We try, and it's on try, to use as less glue as we can. Some of you will know that uh, ADA in the gallery, they, they don't really use artificial materials. We do it in favor of our maintenance guys because it's a lot easier for them to keep the tanks clean. We don't use often white rhino stones and red marble together, but it gives the scape a really nice contrast between the dark 
gray color of the rhino stone and the light brown color of the red moor wood. But you have to keep in mind that wood gets more of a dark brown color after it soaks up the water from the aquarium. At this time, we use AD Aqua Gravel for this project. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, it's wet. So I washed it before, rinsed it, because it gets, the water gets cloudy. We just want to prevent that. We are done with the hardscape and the substrate part. So in the next step, it's going to be planted. And hopefully, we have no more incidents like this. Sorry, Mike. Okay, now it's about time that uh, living nature moves into this beauty. Um, and for that, we got lots of plants. Obviously, we're gonna use moss on the ground, uh, here on the stones to the sides and the front. We chose high-growing stem plants for this tank, which are really colorful and it will fit very well for this nature style project. So we use these old plant labels. So we take these ones and we can place them and get the surface, like the soil part organized that we know where we put the plants. What's the colors in? It's green, green it's reddish, red. red, orange, green, red. We should use the most intense reddish colored plants in the golden ratio point. I like the idea. But? A <laughs> 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 little bit more maybe to the right or for you guys to the left. And uh, yeah, I think it will be fine. We decided to plant the moss first. And just for one simple reason, because everything is dry now. So if we plant the stem plants later on, we will wet the soil and we use like the spray, spray the stones with water. So then it will be a problem for the glue because it gets white. It kind of hardens out right away. So we don't want that. We want to fix the moss first then. And yeah, so we have no problems later on. And we use that very, very, very expensive tool um, as a pellet knife to spread out uh, the glue for uh, attaching the moss. So we use last glue, that's what we want to make. So as you see on the left side, we are finished with the moss planting. Everything on the stones will be with moss. The root stays moss free and then we have the stem plants. That would, will be the final look then.
getting close to the end of the planting. I just want to mention that we have the Ludwigia Balustre Super Red, which is a, a potted plant. So as you can see, it's growing way higher. And all the other stem plants, they are growing also as tall. They are tissue culture plants, so they're very, very, very little right now. These plants need a little bit more time to develop to their final form. Okay, David, I think yeah. maybe what we could do is use some flame moss here and here to these points, just to give it a little bit more detail and Flame moss in the very back, it just looks like a little, little, little stem plant if you just take a small amount, so we could use that, no? It's a good idea because it will give another layer to the back of the aquascape. I checked the main stone mm -hmm. and what do you think? we will need some moss, little pieces of moss, but we will need it. Two weeks have passed since David and I built a 60p tank and uh, obviously the stem plants didn't mature. We used a lot of tissue culture plants and sometimes it's not working that well so we were like on a 50-50 situation and uh, for now it doesn't make any sense to show you the end result because there is no end result. So stay tuned, watch the channel and hopefully we can show you the end result pretty soon. Goodbye, see you soon.